Hello everyone, it's Olayemi here on Bosa TV and I am your host on today's episode of Entertainment on the International Level. I've got all juicy, all sizzling gist and juicy content to spew just for you. But before I proceed, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let's take a short break. Welcome back guys, but before I start, I would like to use this medium to say a very big happy new year to you as subscribers and our viewers. And may this 2021 bring good tidings and great things for us. Oh, so I want you to tell people you have around to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want you to tell your family, your friends, acquaintances, strangers, strangers to the, that ain't bad too your open us grew and i want to say a very big thank you for keeping us with us all through 2020 since we started now let's go back to the agenda the first thing i have on my list is the grammys i mean the grammys that is the biggest award show musical award show in the whole wide world so they are also known as the recording academy they had their 63rd annual award show um these past few days and we had dope performances for people like Harry Styles, Cardi B, Megan the Stallion and Co. Damn, I love those performances, especially you are, there's some O's in this house, there's some O's in I love that song. I'm very sorry for the nudity and explicit word. So there were some achievements that were broken, especially by Beyonce and Ahon, Bonner Boy and Whiskey, who became the first ever Nigerian, or should I say African, to have a Grammy. Big shout out to you guys. We love you, Bonner Boy and Whiskey. I'm your stand forever and ever. You are kings in your own way. And I, I love you. I don't even know how to put this. So Beyonce also um, broke the feat of being the most awarded artist with 28 total Grammy Awards. Like, wow. She isn't just the queen bee for nothing. We are talking about Beyonce. Like, Beyonce. It didn't stop her dad, the Carter family, also Blue Ivy, a 10-year-old daughter, if I'm correct, also broke an achievement as being the first youngest artist to possess a Grammy. Wow. Blue, I love you and I hope you follow in your mother footstep. So, Taylor Swift also bagged the best album of the year. Megan The Stallion came with the best artist and her song featuring Beyonce titled Savage also got a Grammy Award adding to Beyonce's collection. I think making it the 28th award for Beyonce breaking the Grammy achievement. Billie Eilish also bagged the record of the year and R. Oh my god, I love R so much. Her voice is unique, perfect, soulful and very powerful. So she also went on with the song of the year. And that is that on Grammy. I can't wait to see the 64th award show of the Grammy, which will be coming up next year. Moving on, we have the Jack Snyder's Justice League. Oh my goodness. I saw that movie yesterday. Now it was a four-hour movie. Um, I was like, okay, I'm going to watch two hours. But before I know, I was at the fourth hour, like. Damn, that movie is so hot. And I'm going to encourage you all to grab your popcorn, your drinks, and get to the cinema and see them. And if you have HBO Max, you can surely catch it on there too. It was fun and fantastic. Jack Snyder, I give you um, all accolades on that good job you've done. Moving on, we have Cardi B, the hottest female rapper right now. And our fan base call her the new queen of rap. Oh my god, I love Cardi B too, and she's like a queen to me. Just permit me to say, Cardi B is so great. So, a song titled Buddha Kelo, a smash hit 2017 single, went diamond. I mean, she sold 10 million copies in the US. Cardi B is a queen, and she's the first rapper to ever do that. Like, wow, just wow. She has been breaking, breaking records and destroying barriers, tearing walls, walls down since she came into the industry. And Boda Kelly was the hit song that made her a global superstar. And I'm very, very happy she's successful. 
and she's a boss in her lane. I love to see black women being successful. Like it empowers me, and I hope my own sister too gets there one day. Moving on, we have Rihanna. Rihanna, who is, or should I say, a competition to Queen B? Like navies and the beehives always argue. I don't know. I'm not choosing sides, but I love the two of them. I love their music. Rihanna purchased a new 13.8 million dollars mansion in Beverly Hills, like 13.8 million dollars. Damn, Rihanna is so fucking rich. I mean, she, she she's so rich. The 13.8 million dollars. You guys need to see this mansion, man. Rihanna isn't playing. Well, the mansion came with seven bedrooms, seven bedrooms, and other chef kitchens and more so it is safe to say rihanna is now a neighbor to paul mccartney madonna etc i don't really know about people living in beverly hills but those i know i have mentioned moving on we have Josiah nelson from little mix or should i say she was an ex-member of Little Mix. And you almost be so wondering why I love talking about Jessica Nielsen. I love Jessica Nielsen. I love her voice. Yes, she was a survivor of internet bullying, cyber bullying. It really did a toll on her. And it's one of the reasons why she left Little Mix. Because she wasn't, she wasn't strong enough. She didn't have the mind to. The bullying got to her. And she felt she was not as good as other girls. You all should stop cyber bullying. It leads to depression and sweet and makes people commit to say, I'm damn serious about this. So after the size split from the group Little Mix, the biggest girl band in history, she has now signed a solo deal with YMZ Global Representation. And I am so happy for her. I can't wait to see her solo projects, her songs, and everything she has to offer. The singer took to Instagram to share her excitement and announcement on her joining the YMU Global Representation. Chesai Nelson, I love you and I can't wait to hear from you. I'm sure your fans all over the world can't wait to hear what you are going to give us. The leader and the CEO of YMU Global Representation also took to her Instagram and Twitter page to announce Jessica Nelson and confirm her as their new artist. She said she's excited to have one of the members of Little Mix um, on her label and she's even expecting the girls to like work with her if they ever go solo. Moving on, we have Katy Perry. Katy Perry, the princess of dance pop, like we all say. I love her albums, I love everything about her. Recently, we all know Katy Perry gave birth to her daughter named Daisy. Wow, such a beautiful name, Daisy Bloom. And there are speculations going about town that she got married to Orlando Bloom. Since fans saw a ring on her hand, I don't know. Well, it kind of looked like a wedding ring to me too. And people are like, oh, she got married secretly, she did this, she did that, I don't know, the source isn't for me, because neither Casey Perry or Orlando Bloom, or should I say, the parent of Daisy Bloom, they didn't confirm that. So, that is the last and the least thing I have for now on this episode of Entertainment. I hope you all catch fun a lot, learned from this, just like I had fun too. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Comment down below your thoughts and do not forget to like this video. And do not forget to share to your friends, your families, acquaintances and strangers like I also said. Yeah, it's not bad if you share to strangers. You can just walk up to people and, like, make new friends. With that, we've come to the end of the show. Oh, 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 and before I forget, don't forget to visit our website at www.bosatv.com. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye for now. See you later.